Hello everyone, this is Chris with NokiaInnovation.com. Uh, today I'd like to take a look at the new updated Hair Maps app, which comes with the Windows Phone 8.1 developer preview. After you install the 8.1 update on a Nokia Lumia device, if you go to your uh, Maps Hair Maps app, you'll be asked to update. Once you do that, you do get this. Uh, you do get the new version. The version is 3.6.97.8 with map data 8.30.53.110. There's a tab for finding out what's new collections. Um, but there's also some really nice touches. Uh, now, anyone who has seen my video, which compares hair maps and Nokia maps across the Windows phone, Migo Harmattan and Windows 8.1, We'll know that I have found a couple of features which were missing on Windows Phone 8. And I'm pleased to say they have, for the most part, been addressed in the new update. Uh, as you can see, we're on the map view. Prior to the update, you could literally just look at things through a bird's eye view. Where if we bring in the N9... You'll see that we actually had a 3D view in which we could look at the buildings from a from a different angle. Well, I'm pleased to say that is now here on Windows Phone 8.1, and unlike on the N9 where you had to where you have to change it in the settings 3D mode. You can now pan and scroll. So let's see, we'll zoom in. Two fingers, scroll up and down the screen, and you can change the view. Uh, there was another feature on Migo Harmattan, which I was hoping would come to Windows Phone 8, and I'm pleased to say it has, was the two finger rotation. So if you're in 3D mode, and you want to take a better look at the Bath Abbey from all angles, it was very easy to do that. This feature is now here on Windows Phone 8.1. You'll notice the um, landmarks aren't quite as... Uh, as solid as they are on Migo Harmattan, but that's possibly a good thing if you think that they're more transparent, so you can see the roads on the other side. So while on the one hand it kind of brings it on par with the maps version on Migo Harmattan, I would say it also surpasses it. You get the solid kind of 3D view, so you can really go between them. I think that's a really nice touch. If we change it to satellite view, you still have the ability to pan and rotate with two fingers. But the buildings are all flat, unfortunately. Uh, now, I'd say this brings it much more close on par with the uh, with the Hair Maps app you see on Windows 8.1 where you can zoom in, you can pan and you have uh, the view of the buildings. Uh, there is one feature that we're yet to get on the 8.1 version which uh, I did demonstrate a beta version of Omega Harmattan, and that is street level. So far, unfortunately, uh, it is available on on Windows 8.1. If we click on a area, you can then go into a street view. 
but unfortunately not the case as of yet on 8.1. Hopefully that will come soon. I'm sure it will. Here, I'm really impressed with this version of Hair Maps for Windows Phone 8.1. If you want the new version of Hair Maps, you will need to install the developer preview of Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, that will, of course, come to all Windows Phone 8 devices eventually, uh, probably in the next few months. So it may be worth waiting until then, or you could think about installing the update. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments on my video, I'd be interested to hear it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. This is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com.